Hey guys, Swalls here, and I'm doing a Black Ops 2 video for you guys for Call of Duty Films. The gameplay on Black Ops, not the best, because I found it was really hard to get back into the flow after playing Modern Warfare 3 for a long time. Um, so I hope you guys can watch that and enjoy. But today I want to talk about the name of Black Ops 2, um, time period, weapons, uh, locations, and zombies, which I know a lot of uh, a lot of us are looking forward to. So the name now a lot of speculation has been thrown out as far as black ops 2 the iron wolf project and what the heck is this game gonna be called um, what the heck uh, I don't know if you've ever seen walk with yawn it was a really old like 70s 80s cooking show with a guy named walk sorry not even related to black ops 2 my apologies um, so what do we know about black ops 2 it's gonna be a sequel um, I believe a while ago I, the gun shop covered it uh, that saying that Black Ops and Activision has asked Treyarch to make it a sequel. And obviously it is going to be a sequel because Black Ops was very, very successful. Even though not of all of us like the multiplayer, um, it was a very successful game as far as money. And let's not forget, money is something that is very important in driving this business. So, uh, with the sequel, what is the name going to be? Right now I'm looking at uh, with what a lot of movies have done is you know they have that main title... And then you have that little line afterwards, which is kind of like a, it's almost like an episode name almost. You know, if they do singles, then the sequel, then the traquel. I don't know what you would call the third movie in a series, uh, I guess part of the trilogy. But uh, what my naming is going to be, as you're going to see kind of the format on the screen right now, is Black Ops dot dot underline. No, the game is not going to be called dot dot underline. But that's going to be the style of how they're going to name Black Ops. Um... You know, you never know. It could be Black Ops dot dot retaliation. Um, and yet, I, I understand someone's going to leave a comment. It's called the da da da. Um, but that's not really what we're worried about. That's what the name is going to be. It's going to have this little suffix sentence at the very end. And that is going to explain uh, maybe what the storyline is going to be about and give us some hints. So, when I was trying to do this video, one of the things was I, I watched a bunch of videos. And I saw a lot of it's speculation. Now, if we go back to actually looking at hard hitting facts. That should tell us whereabouts the video or the game is going to be about. And uh, it, it'll drop a lot of hints for us. And what I was looking for was time period. And I think time period for us is going to be the most important thing to look at. Now, I'll tell you why. Right now, where it's got to sit in between is the Vietnam War and probably the ending of the Vietnam War and modern time period. So, that's my guess. It should be during that time period. I can't see them going past modern warfare. Um, because honestly, Infinity Ward might even have dibs on past Modern Warfare and going into the future. Um, but Treyarch has, you know, in the history done, in the past, done videos of, you know, past time period. Um, for example, World at War was during World War II, and Black Ops 1 was you know, the whole Vietnam uh, Cold War era conflicts. So that we could very well see this time period again as the Cold War um that definitely could be the time period again, um, but I was going to just pop on here and sh just say some of the conflicts and some of the locations we can expect, um, because these are the conflicts that were going on during this little time period um, and area where we can guess Black Ops 2 was going to take place, and that can actually give us a lot of hints towards what it's going to be like. One of them was a armed conflict, excuse me, sorry about that, in Colombia. Another one was the Afghan Civil War. Um, another one was the Somalia uh, Civil War as well. And, sorry, I'm just trying to go through these. Some of them, a bunch in Asia, Southeast, South, um, Africa, in the Middle East, uh, more in Asia, and some in Europe. So, those are some of the conflicts, and trust me, there are a lot of them because we do not live in a perfect world. That The conflicts that we can look to in guess, and it, it is only a guess, but... Those are the kind of times we can guess where Black Ops 2 is going to take place. Now, you're probably wondering, like, when does it really matter what time the game is around, what sort of conflicts are going on? Well, it does actually tell us quite a few things. It tells us weapons. Um, for example, when they were making Black Ops, they used, uh, they were doing a lot of weapon prototypes. For example, the MP5. The MP5K was the prototype weapon and one of the first ones off the uh, off the production lines, and that was the one that was used in Black Ops because that was like. Um, for the time period of the game, that was like the most futuristic um, weaponry available at that time. So that's how they kind of did Black Ops. Now, if you look at the different parts of the world, for example, the F-2000, which probably won't be in the game, but it is a, it's a Belgian assault rifle. Um, for example, yeah, 
that's from that part of town. It's part of town, part of the world. It's from Belgium. Um, and when we look at the different locales that the game could exist in, uh, that would just drop us some hints um, where the guns are going to come from. And it tells us map areas. You know, we've seen uh, Cracked. Cracked is in Vietnam. That was one of the multiplayer maps from Black Ops. And right here on Drive-In is actually, I believe, in the United States during the Cold War era. And it's kind of just a rundown drive-in, but obviously you can see that. Um, but the, with the time period, and obviously you guys can get a, a discussion going in the comments um, and kind of talk about what you guys think, because that I would really like to see what you guys are also thinking for this. Um, but the reason why the time period is so important and why I kind of wanted to make it the main thing I covered was because it covers weapons, it covers where the maps are going to be, and it tells us a lot about the campaign. Where you'll go, where you'll fight, you know, who you'll kill, stuff like that in... Because Black Ops really was um, a bit of a, you know, a secret or an untold story part of history, which is one of the reasons why the uh, the campaign was voted uh, one of the best campaigns of all time in Call of Duty history at a recent awards ceremony. Which is, you know, great job for Treyarch, and you know they can give themselves a pat on the back for writing a very compelling campaign. But they got to write Black Ops 2 now, so that's why time period is so important for us to, you know, look at that. And that kind of gives us a little bit of a hint on what we can expect. So, now that I've covered those first two things, probably one of the things a lot of you guys have been really looking forward to was zombies. So, the thing with zombies is there is obviously this really strong, compelling storyline behind zombies. And I'm telling you now, take my word for it, zombies will return in some form or fashion for Black Ops 2. It is too successful for them not to include it. Simply put, it's just too successful of a little mini game. It's not even really a mini game, it is a whole side story and almost like two games in one uh, for Black Ops. And that's why zombies will be returning. That That's my opinion and my word that it will return. What just happened? Well, with Moon, as we saw, if you complete the Easter egg on Moon, you send three rockets to Earth and they basically destroy a lot of the Earth. But, if we do remember, um, the Pack-A-Punch machine is on in Area 51. And the thing is, you can actually still go to Area 51. The world is in like this Fallout, just been nuked phase um, when you go there. But, you can still go on Earth. Which does not mean the zombie storyline is done. It is actually very, very possible we get a, an Area 51 map. I know a lot of people are saying, well, they're not going to go back to Area 51 seeing the Pack-A-Punch was there. But if you think about it, it would make a little bit of sense if they went to um, Area 51 and had the next map there because they were just on Moon. They come back to the Pack-A-Punch area. You have your next map there or in and around there. That would make some sense. One of the things I would like them to see them do, um, you know, maybe go back a little bit into the past and start to tell the story of Zombies more. Now I know it's been like this most the, the most secretive thing and they did announce a little bit during COD XP. But I would really like it if they went back, explained the story a little bit, um, just gave us a little bit more clues. And it, it one of the things I love about the story is that they don't tell you everything, which means you're left to it's almost like a conspiracy theory. And you're left to put the bits and bobs together yourself to create just the most wonderful story about zombies imaginable. That's one of the things I like to do. I'd like to see if they did it uh, a really cinematic experience. I'm not necessarily saying like cutscenes every round, but uh, introducing zombies in a whole new light by just making this it a lot more cinematic, and uh, it, that goes along with saying how the story will be. And um, uh, one of the things I'd like to see also is uh, putting together the missing pieces. There are some missing pieces with story and a bunch of different stuff. Obviously. Um, if you do the cryogenic slumber party easter egg, Rick Toffin actually turns into Samantha, which is weird and crazy. And uh, really doesn't necessarily make a whole bunch of sense to the plot. But that's some of the stuff I'd like to see, guys. Um, this was just kind of a little bit of an information video. and some, Just kind of stuff to think about when you're making your guests for Black Ops 2. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like anything like that. And uh, do the same for Call of Duty Films. And guys, I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.